In this video, we're going to be covering how to navigate in the 3D workspace. Now you can see here, most of our work is going to be done in the main work area here in the center of the screen. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and draw out a rectangular block so you can see how we can spin that, zoom in on it, and some of the different view options we have. So the first thing I'm going to do here is go up to Activate 2D Sketch. And it's going to ask us to select a plane here. Notice we're not seeing any of those planes. And if you go under the View tab over here, we can t toggle references on or off. Right? So if you turn that on, here's all the different individual references. So you can turn on things like points, axes, planes, and so on. So generally, we want to see the planes. I'm going to choose that plane right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a sketch tool. Now notice up here at the icons with this ribbon changed over to our drawing tool. So I'm going to use that rectangle tool here. I'm going to go ahead and snap to the origin and then draw out a rectangle. All right. Once I have that, I can actually hit the space bar, which will bring up this little in-context menu. And sometimes if you just click, it comes up as well. But go ahead and choose the uh, extrude feature. And you can see right there, here's my extrude. And I can just use the defaults. Five inches is fine, but I can modify these as needed. And we'll be diving into that in a lot more depth as we go. But click on OK. And now you can see I've got this nice rectangular block on the screen. Now you might be thinking, hey, how do I zoom in on this? How do I rotate around? What do I do here? How do I navigate in this 3D world? So first things first, if you use your left mouse button, notice if you kind of just mouse or just kind of hover over things, the planes will select. And if I click on them, uh, it'll become active. Okay. If you right click, you get this in context menu, which, which allows you to do all kinds of things like starting a sketch or editing things and things like that. Um, now, if you want to rotate the model around, you hold down your left and right mouse buttons at the same time. Click on both of those and I can rotate the view around. All right, so I can do that. And notice that little block on the upper right hand corner is doing the same thing. Now, I can also just choose a face like the front face. And if I click on it again, it will rotate and keep spinning. So I can look at it in different ways, right? I can then spin it around again. If I want to look at the left face, I can click over here in the center. There it is. If I want to click over here, I can spin it in that orientation. So it's really handy to kind of see. And notice you get this little triad down here at the bottom showing you which way is which and so on in your model. Now, sometimes you might not want to see like all these planes. And that's why you can come over here to view and you can turn those reference geometries off. So it's just got a little bit cleaner work environment. Uh, if you want to zoom in, zoom out, you just scroll. And notice wherever you put your cursor, it's going to scroll too. So I'm going to you know, zoom into here. It's going to zoom there. If I want to zoom over here, again, it's going to zoom in that face here. And if I want to rotate the model, I hold down the right and left mouse buttons. Now, if for some reason your model just kind of flew off the screen and you're not sure what happened, you generally want to do this zoom to fit. Click on that and it brings it right back to the center of the screen. So you also have those individual view, like the front views and top view, things like that, all here at the top of the screen. Uh, so it makes it really easy to grab those things. You can also do things like rotate your views right or left. You can measure and a few other things like zoom to fit and the zoom to window. Zoom to window is you're going to click here and then just kind of draw a window out what you want to see. And it's going to zoom into that. So those are the basics for kind of navigating, zooming, panning, rotating, doing all those different things in the environment here. And you're going to be using that as you go through the course.